There are few romances in football as unlikely as Juninho Paulista and Middlesbrough. The attacking midfielder won many trophies across his career, including the World Cup. But what most remember about him is how he endeared himself to Middlesbrough fans over three separate spells. This is a story of Juninho, Middlesbrough's Brazilian god. Juninho was born as Osvaldo Giraldo Jr. on the 22nd of February 1973. He impressed as a youngster and began his senior career with Ituano FC, a Sao Paulo based side. He would sign for Sao Paulo FC in 1993 and won a number of honours, including the Copa Libertadores and the Intercontinental Cup. He would make his international debut in 1995. His name was gaining attention from top clubs across Europe but few could have predicted his next move. In October 1995, Juninho signed for Middlesbrough for a fee of £4.75 million. It was a shock to many across football, with Middlesbrough having only just achieved promotion. He arrived to a frenzy, with Middlesbrough fans turning up in their droves at Teesside Airport to meet Juninho upon his arrival. Middlesbrough manager Brian Robson had been keen to induct a less physical style of play at the Riverside, and felt Juninho's creative skills in midfield would be perfect for his system. Juninho immediately endeared himself to Middlesbrough fans. He was often seen playing football on the streets with kids, and would be known as the little fella by Borough fans, due to only being 5'5 five five tall. He made his debut in a 1-1 draw with Leeds, assisting his side's goal. His skills in midfield helped the club seal a 12th place finish. The next season would be a case of so near, yet so far. Juninho was joined by fellow Brazilian Emerson, and Juninho would score 15 goals in 45 games, finishing runner-up in the FWA Player of the Year awards. But sadly, his team could not keep up with him. A points deduction for being unable to field 11 players in a game in December would ultimately be the difference between staying up and going down for the Teesiders. The relegation reduced Juninho to tears, but there was further agony. Middlesbrough had lost both the League Cup and FA Cup final that season. A campaign that had promised so much had ultimately ended with nothing. With the World Cup a year away, Juninho realised he had to move to pastures new to seal a spot in the Brazil team. Juninho joined Atletico Madrid in 1997 for a fee of 13 million. His time for Atleti started well, but soon injuries started to derail his career, and in a game against Celta Vigo, Juninho broke his leg, an injury that ultimately saw him ruled out of the 1998 World Cup. Juninho returned to his beloved Middlesbrough for a loan spell in the 99-2000 season. Middlesbrough had got promotion back to the Premier League. In his second spell, Juninho netted four goals in 24 games, before returning to Atleti. Loan spells at Vasco da Gama and Flamengo back in his homeland followed, before he would once again return to his adoptive home. However, before this, he would travel with Brazil to the 2002 World Cup. He started all three group games, and whilst he ended up losing his place to Cleberson, he made an appearance in the final, as Brazil defeated Germany 2-0 to win the World Cup. Juninho was a world champion. Later in 2002, Juninho began his third spell with Middlesbrough, joining them on a permanent deal for £6 million. He would only play 10 games in his first season back, but as he started to put his injury rows behind him, he made history in the next campaign. After looking like candidates for relegation, Middlesbrough recovered to finish 11th in the league. But more importantly, they reached the League Cup final, which was an opportunity to win their first ever major trophy. Middlesbrough reached the League Cup final, where they would face Bolton, Juninho, the Middlesbrough Messiah, had a chance to give his team their holy grail. The final had a dream start for the Teesiders, with Joseph Desire Job scoring in the second minute, and Bolo Zenden got a second five minutes later. Kevin Davis would get one back for Middlesbrough in the 21st minute, but Middlesbrough would hold out to seal their first major trophy. Juninho had delivered a moment their fans had been dreaming of for years. The Borough players celebrated in the Cardiff air, and it was a moment Juninho later admitted was on par with winning the World Cup with Brazil. 
It would be the little fella's last season with Burrow, with fans bowing and worshipping him still, just as they had when he first signed. Spells of the likes of Celtic, Palmeiras, Flamengo, Sydney FC and Ituano followed, before Juninho ultimately hung up his boots. In 2007, Juninho was voted as the greatest ever player in the history of Middlesbrough. He remains a deity in the eyes of Borough fans, with the unlikely romance between the two bringing joy to Middlesbrough fans that will forever be cherished. When Juninho's career began, nobody expected him to become a god in the north of Yorkshire, but the game of football is always full of surprises. 